I'm Frankie, Fats Homestead, up in North Alabama. And we're out here in the garden tonight today. This is the last of the summer garden. I guess you call it the last day. You can tell by looking. But we're fixing to pull our Kershaw squash. Or Kershaw. I call it Kershaw. Kershaw. But anyway, we're fixing to pull it. And the story, the little story behind the squash is we wasn't even planning on, actually had never heard of a Q-Shaw squash. And friends of ours at Hardin Way Farm come up here and wanted us to plant some seeds, so we did. And they planted theirs, and theirs didn't come up, and ours did, so now we still got seeds. And we share a lot, and that's what we want to do, is share with people, get to know good people, and hope we get to meet a lot of more good people through YouTube. But anyway, we're fixing to tear these up. But while we're on uh, rolling here, I'm going to show you something else I'm trying. It probably I'm wasting time more than likely, but it won't be the first time. But our tomato vines, you can see up there, I've trimmed these. I hadn't trimmed them. But, and some of y'all may know, y'all can tell me, but right here, I've been trimming down these little new sprouts coming out on the stem. I'm hoping they'll make a few more tomatoes or so we'll have fresh tomatoes for the end of, on the end of the winter months. But they may not make nothing. But they don't. All I got is a mess. It ain't no big deal. And anyway, so that's where we're at right now. So I guess we'll pause long enough to pull these squash. Right, we're back at it. And I thought I'd do a little magic trick for y'all. Put these big juice y'all squash in this little basket but no nah, really just kidding but anybody that's starting out they ain't got to cost a lot of money i think we got these baskets for like a dollar at the dollar tree and they're not they're not a house bucket by no means i'd like to have one of them but anyway these last all year so it doesn't cost a lot to get started heck we're going to get into the okra here in a minute well, let's get a couple of these squash. Let's get those big boys first. Now, I've watched and tried to do a little research on YouTube on these things, and I've read what it says thump them. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Sound like a ripe watermelon. My wife, she says, you wait till the vine dies. But. Well, it's pretty dead now. Anyway. We got a uh, big one right here. That's going to be, I bet you, 20 pounds. We'll you can't out. tell how big that is on video. Um, you need to hold it up to your body. We've never grown this before, like we said. This is completely new to us. We had two of them. The big that, one right um, there, that's pretty big. Yeah, two of them. Frankie is about 260 pounds and about 6 foot tall or 5 foot 11. Anyways, like I said, two of them we had, they um, busted. And uh, they were like medium sized ones. That one's a large one. And what kind of bugs in it? I don't have a clue. Same thing and, killing the vine? Probably. Yeah, probably vine borers or something like that. Um, so the two medium ones that we canned, we canned them like you would um, a winter squash, um, according to the the ball book that I have. Can't remember the name right offhand. But anyways, we ended up with like 14 quarts oh, of a cubed squash from a these two medium size kushal that we had to do something with because they busted. And they made a delicious pie too. Yeah, the pie was good. You like pumpkin pie? Tastes a lot like pumpkin pie. I gotta watch my fingers cause my wife was rushing me Sunday and called me to cut my finger out here cutting okra. I ain't got just a few left. Anyway, but they seem to done good. I think we're going to really enjoy them. We're going to give some of those to our friends that uh, helped us. Yeah. Alright, there's the crop. Other than the five that we've done harvesting. Now I can pull all these vines up. Tear them down in the holly. Break this little spot up. I like digging my old plants up for a couple of reasons. One, it's a lot easier replanting when you're planting something else. You ain't got all the roots and stuff. And the second thing is, if there's a virus 
or something in the plant being in the garden. But anyway, we fish and go to the okra. We're gonna make it short and sweet. Everybody does it different, but we really had good results. But on this top, when I cut the uh, pot off, I cut the leaf off under it. Cause all that is is a feed leaf. And right here, if you can get close enough, Right here's a little old sprout coming out under this leaf. Well, this leaf's no longer in account. All it's doing is sucking energy. So right in front of that new growth, I cut that off. And what that'll do is turn into this right here. And it'll grow more and more and more. But this okra, like right here, I'm going to show you. I'm going to reach in there and I'm going to cut the, that leaf off. It goes with it. Yeah, it looks spindly, but it grows new growth. And uh, something else I was going to tell you on that. I'm trying to remember now. But anyway, it'll make, well, yeah, I know what I'm going to tell you. We've actually, off these three rows of okra, we paid for our garden this year. I mean, off just selling okra. Our seeds, not our labor. You can't count labor on a farm and you go broke. But, uh Anyway, we made uh, enough money to pay for all of our seeds and everything we got in the garden. And I got to barter a little bit with some corn stalks so they can get me all the cow manure I want to get new fertilizer. I guess we're doing pretty good, huh? Anyway, we uh, right here's the limb. This thing's useless. Just cut them off. I don't hurt a thing. See all these new growth, this thing here. It's skinny up through there, but it's got all new growth down here on the bottom. Actually, you probably get to where you're cutting some of the uh, new sprouts out, because it will bush. But it's going to be boring watching me cut this. So. We don't know what this is. It's some kind type of giant grasshopper. Maybe a locust? I don't know. We'll have to look this up. Maybe some of you all know. You can... Leave a comment in the description below. He's creeping me out. He's looking at me. Now we're going to show you how to get rid of him. Catch him like that right there. Have him on the ground and you step on him. Then you got fertilized. But they're eating the fire right here. That's what they're That's doing. the third one that we've pulled off. Since they're doing that to the okra. We've got a quarter of a way down this row. We hadn't had these before. They're eating the leaves off the okra. That one's sitting on a bloom. I'm going to walk down here and see if I see any more. 